Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday. A few days ago, I think two days ago at this point, there was some interesting news that uh, kind of seeped out onto the internet from the tech world and there was a new device uh, from Microsoft called Microsoft HoloLens and it is a, I want to call it virtual reality, it's really augmented reality. It's a, it's a, a headset, some goggles that you put on that changes the world around you, it does aug augmented reality and um, before, actually before we continue, if you've got two minutes, I would like you to pause this video, go down in the description below, and watch the two-minute presentation from Microsoft. Very short, but that's going to help you understand what this video is more about and kind of get you on the same on the same level of what we're talking about. So go ahead and pause this, go down below, watch that, and then come back. Oh wait. You're back! Fantastic! Okay, so first off, was that crazy? It was crazy. In fact, the first time I saw it, I just kind of went, eh. I don't know if I'm just getting old and cynical, um, or if maybe the fact I've seen, you know, so much sci-fi movie and television stuff, it just tells my brain that this is too good to be true. This, you know, this is not real. And it's also been something in the past, like, you know, tech companies promise something, and it's never quite like it, you know, they said it was going to be. Same thing with video games, you know, you'll see a, a trailer that's nothing but pre-rendered cutscenes, and then the game is nothing quite like that. So, I'm not very trusting when it comes to tech. So, I was, I was a little skeptical of this, but fortunately, there have been uh, several websites now, Wired, CNET, PC World, Kotaku, uh, Rock, Paper, Shotgun, whatever. Um, tons and tons of, of articles have been written because people have actually gotten a chance to try this out. So that's what I was interested in. Not that interested in, in Microsoft's little video about it because I don't trust it, but I, I am interested in hearing what real life people have to say. The reviews are glowing all of them. And that kind of caught me off guard. And in the first few I, I read, I was like, okay, so Microsoft is paying them to say good things. But then after I got to like the ninth and 10th article, I was like, okay, wait, this thing's actually really good. So the demonstration that they had set up for these people was, um, you know, very particular. There was only a few things that they could try. Um, but if you guys saw the video, it was similar to that. Like they have like the moon where there are, not on the moon, uh, the Mars thing where they're on Mars and they're walking through Mars and people said that it felt so real. And um, it was just interesting because, you know, when I'm watching the video, it does feel too good to be true. Um, but hearing it written, you know, from these people that actually experienced it firsthand, it sounds like it really works. You know, it really works. And, it, you know, obviously there's going to be a lot of trial and error, and it's going to be a while before it ever comes to market where we can actually use it in our homes. But it, uh, it does sound interesting. Speaking of using it in our homes... It sounds like, well, it actually looks like something that we would use in our homes. Um, unlike similar devices, for example, the Google Glass, that's something that was designed to be worn everywhere, and it's also caused some privacy concerns because of that. But this thing is a gigantic goggle headset. It's not something that you would wear, you know, everywhere you go. It seems like something that is designed more for the home. Also interesting, um, and I think the only article that mentioned this was Wired, but if you guys want to search these articles you can. Wired did an interview with the guy that's behind the project and it turns out that's the same guy who did Connect. So the guy that actually created the Connect is the guy that's behind this project. He said he started on the project seven years ago, it eventually kind of turned into Connect and then that was five years ago and then since that time he's been working on HoloLens and a lot of the same technology that's built behind the Connect is built behind, you know, is mixed into the HoloLens or whatever. Um, because not only does it have, um, you know, voice recognition, but it also has gesture recognition. Obviously, you know, you saw from the video, you got to be doing certain things with your hands to get the thing to work. But apparently everyone that tried it said it was really intuitive. So, it's neat. You know, it's, it's really cool. But what does it mean for us? I don't know. Um, I mean, the examples used in the video were not all that exciting to me. I mean, you know, looking down and saying, oh, look, it, <laughs> we have this little fake Maui diorama thing with the weather and I can watch Netflix on my wall. Like that's, that's not that interesting to me, but the gaming applications seem really cool. Uh, in the, in the video they uh, were showing off Minecraft and, and you know, people were adding blocks or whatever, blowing up the wall. And in these articles, people actually got to play that. And they said it, it did work and look as good as it looked in that video, which is exciting. That's really exciting. In fact, um, one of the people had recounted that they, they go into this living room, they set up like a fake living room, and they said, you know, put on the goggles, we're going to go into Minecraft, and look under the coffee table. So he, he 
the person bends down, looks under the coffee table, and there's like an entire castle under there. And there's like zombies, you know, trying to storm the castle or whatever. And uh, the person just instinctively says, shovel. And then they're given a shovel. And then they just start clicking, or t not clicking, but you know, <laughs> touching on the blocks underneath the zombies. And then they're going away and the zombies are falling into a pit. And like, that kind of thing is amazing. Now certainly, when you think of the gaming applications, there's going to be things that, you know, work for HoloLens and things that don't. Minecraft is fantastic. Since you're limited to the room, because you are, it is augmented reality, um, you know, something like Minecraft where you have your own little virtual world seems really cool. Something like a shooting game may not work out so well if you're limited to only one environment. Although, the mind does ponder, you know, what if there was a way you, you, what if you wore it outside and the game had a way to procedurally generate enemies based on the environment, you know, you could actually go out into the woods and the game would, would know where an enemy was and keep them there, like, I don't know how powerful this thing is, but that would be pretty freaking cool. Um, you know, it's easy to compare it to the Google Glass or, you know, Oculus Rift and they're really separate devices, for example, um, a shooting game would be very good in Oculus Rift. You're confined into that one space. You're in the game world. You can look around and you're inside the game. Whereas, um, you know, with the HoloLens, you would be in your living room, which could be problematic if you're trying to do anything other than be in a single room inside the game. So, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. And it, it certainly restored my faith in it a little bit by reading these articles written by other people that actually tried it. I'm most excited for the gaming stuff. Um, I think it has a lot of potential, and I would love to try it at some point, although, <laughs> sadly, I still, up to this point, have not had a chance to actually try the Oculus Rift. Fingers crossed that I'll get to do that in the very near future. But I want, I want you guys to watch that video, the two-minute video. Um, if you want, read up on some of these articles. They're very, very interesting uh, from people that have actually tried it. And then tell me what you think. I mean, the, I think the, one of the biggest challenges is going to be finding applications for it because it's right now to me still seems like a huge novelty and uh, I don't even know when we would get it they said it would it would uh, it would be available within the Windows 10 time frame whatever that means I don't know a, a year or two probably so I mean with this thing you know realistically coming to market at some point I mean what would you like to see on it what if, if you just sit for a second and try to imagine something that you would like to see or maybe a game that you would like to play what can you come up with? It's, it's interesting. Is it gimmicky? Seems like it. But it also seems like it actually works. It's just going to be a matter of coming up with cool stuff to do on it. So, anyway, that's it for me today. Talk about the HoloLens. It's an interesting piece of technology. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it develops over the coming months. And uh, hopefully we'll get something really freaking cool out of it. Um, I know that the Oculus Rift has really taken off. Uh, people love it. I want to try this stupid thing so bad. I just haven't had a chance to. <clears throat> what I want to do, I want to play Mirror's Edge with that thing. I think that would make you feel so free. But uh, it'll be interesting to follow the HoloLens and see what happens. It's going to be cool. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Okay. Okay, come on. Camera's having a hot flash. Calm down, honey. Are you okay? You all right? I almost lost you there. Anyway. Yeah. So